That's freaking epic! Wow, look at this Mont Blanc is in front of me! Hey! <laughs> so I gained already 200 meters here in like 2 minutes. Okay, I just arrived up here. It is absolutely amazing. Very, very, very beautiful. That's around me. I am a bit nervous, I have to say, but uh, I'm really excited. Let's take off now. This is Geneva, Geneva Lake. People grilling down there. Very, very smooth. I'm going where everybody goes because I don't know this place. Look at this baby. <laughs> oh my God, I see the entire, I have a perfect view over this beautiful lake which is like a freaking sea, more than a lake. <laughs> That's unbelievable, so, so beautiful. <laughs> That's why I have such a good network on my phone. <laughs> freaking amazing amazing wow look at this Mont Blanc is in front of me right there that's Mont Blanc and I thought first I have to go to Chamonix to see it so I am not allowed to go higher than 1000 700 meters here. Well, I am now at 1520. Okay, I think it's time for the second camera now. So I am coming all the way from there, from the mountains across the Geneva Sea in Montreux. Look at this, funny thing is that when I cut the thermos before, it's just dead now. Maybe in front of the takeoff site? Look at them, there's <laughs> just one left. <laughs> there was a lifty line, but it's gone. It's completely gone. Right here. If I would keep on going on this line, I should come up. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Guys are grilling sausages there. That's freaking epic. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I rode my bike over 600 or 500 kilometers to Zermatt to have such nice flights, right? Look, I am already flying for 17 minutes. And in Zermatt, I had to really struggle to fly so long. Right here is the launch site and I am taking off from, from a small mountain in uh, Geneva and I am flying longer and have nicer flights than in Zermatt. Isn't this freaking ridiculous? Seriously now. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I rode my bike so hard up there in the mountains. So, so hard. Thinking that I will find the Alps thermals and I will fly long and I will be like whoa no flights and in the end look at this <laughs> I'm flying here much longer from a relatively small mountain as you can see 
and I was a week there. And in Kandersteg happened the same. <laughs> Unbelievable. At least I can maintain myself here, kinda. You know? Like it's not very, very bad. Let's go back to my friends. Jesus Christ, it's a dope flight. I could basically top land, but I don't think it's allowed. I'm not sure. I don't want anymore to go. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey! <laughs> People are so friendly. <laughs> My gosh. Sepo! <laughs> No freaking way! No freaking way! We can go and turn off the cameras a bit and check on you later. a bit here the ridge oh look at this the swiss flag oh beautiful nice yeah i crossed here the ridge but uh, i don't really find much and let's go back and if i cannot anymore find the thermals to reach back up no problem this is already a half an hour flight this is my longest flight from this trip in geneva unbelievable okay it seems that here it's going pretty good 1250 I gained 30 meters just in one single circle oh this is music in my ears another 40 meters in one single circle wow look how many cows there are I would have never thought that I will fly such a long time here in comparison to the other flights that I had oh somebody else is taking off there Okay. Oh, this thermal is butter smooth. So I gained already 200 meters here in like two minutes. I wish I would be allowed to fly over Geneva, but I am not. There is this uh, water jet and it's really, really popular place, which I want to go to visit with a bicycle. Before I start my trip to Annecy, I can still go 100 meters from now. To 17 that's what the pilot told me but I'm going to stop at 16 1600 I'm going to come out of the thermal to make sure that I'm not going too high okay I still have 50 meters yep I still have 50 meters though I see that the thermal also kind of disappeared and now I am going to continue and maybe I still find something let's see turn off the camera now this is where I am heading I am now much, much further. I actually went on cross-country more or less. No, I don't find nothing anymore here. I think I am going to fly back in the hope that I will find my thermals again. So one, two, three people are here with their gliders. The good part is though that like, you can land pretty much everywhere. And the bad part is that I am flying against the wind. I am pretty low now. I can just hope to find something. Yeah, this is really tense. It's a tense game right now. very bad very very bad hey but I flew over one hour now I'm going to try over this field see if I can find something and if not I'm going to land right here in front of me no it's not working it's not 
working. In the middle of nowhere I have to land. I'm going to pack my paraglider now. This is where I tried to reach back to the ridge. I will check right now, see how far it is from uh, the landing site. Shit, that's not good. I am 6.4 kilometers away from the landing site. The GPS is running still, but I have to walk more than an hour now. Oh gosh. Nonetheless, it was a very good flight. I was um, just with three other pilots. I'm actually happy, you know, with this flight. I am very happy with this flight, I can say. Yes, I could have maybe landed a bit closer at the, to the landing site or at the landing site. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I was lucky. I think I walked a kilometer and I started uh, trying to catch a car. There was this very nice lady, she stopped, she asked me where I want to go to and I said, yeah, I want to go to this city, which is the closest to the landing site and she was like, no, 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 I can bring you to the landing site because I know where it is. That's such a nice thing to do. So this is where I took off from, from up there and I flew all this way around to that ridge. I found some thermals there, I flew back maybe to that ridge here and then I had to land somewhere. I'm very happy to be back now. I'm going to pack my stuff, head to Geneva, see the city and from there straight to Annecy. Guys, if you enjoyed this vlog and if you enjoyed these videos and my adventure with the bicycle and with the paraglider through Europe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up, that really helps me a lot and boost up the algorithm as well. So I appreciate your support and as usual, fly with passion, stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye bye.